Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. Okay, everybody, take a screenshot. Did you get it? Now, uh, where did that screenshot go? Depending on which operating system you're using, it went uh, one place or another. You could have used a mobile device to take a screenshot if your operating system supports that feature. Uh, you know, it's interesting uh, when I ask someone to take a screenshot for me because I'm trying to get them to explain what it is that they're seeing on their screen, and the easiest way to get that is a screenshot. And so frequently, someone will take a screenshot, and for some reason or another, they'll put it into a Word document and then send me the document. You, you don't need to do that, uh, folks. But I use Windows. There's really no other way of doing it. Because when you use the print screen feature inside of Windows, a print screen key, or potentially the control print screen key, uh, it will take a screenshot and then place it onto your Windows clipboard, which you can then paste into, yes, a document, or into a new graphic file in, in uh, Microsoft Paint, which is installed with every version of Windows that's out there, and then save the file as a graphic, and then you can email it off. It's cleaner, easier, simple. But let's say you're looking for more screenshot functionality. Maybe, maybe, just maybe, you use Windows. Okay, that's good. Uh, but you look at the way screenshots can be taken on OS X, and you say, gosh, I wish I could do that. I wish I had more keyboard shortcut functionality built into Windows. I, I need that. If you want to take OS X style screenshots in Windows, you can do it. Congratulations. I'm here to give you the news. Uh, we've linked more information for the GreenShot program right here in the video's description. That's how you can take OS X style screenshots on Windows. You don't need a switch. Who would tell you to switch? You're crazy. You can live inside of Windows and still get so much more functionality out of the operating system by using software specific to your needs. So let's say once you take a screenshot, you automatically want to open it in an image editor. You can put a check mark in a box, okay? Let's say you want to send that screenshot automatically to a printer. You can toggle that as well. Let's say you want to email it. Fine, you can do that. One, you want to save it directly like the way it happens on OS X, you can do that as well. So in many cases, uh, this software uh, is going to allow all you Windows users to do this to all the Mac users. Neater, 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 neater. Check it out.